Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a great day. Today's video is kind of a heavier topic, so before you watch this video, leave a funny joke in the comments. Pause the video and leave your best pun or something of that nature in the comments. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about mass incarceration. It's an extremely difficult issue, and it's not something I have directly experienced. I've never been incarcerated, so it's definitely something I have little merit speaking of. However, this past week I had the opportunity to visit five different prisons and jails in California. I visited one women's prison, one county jail, and three different state prisons. Honestly, this trip was so emotionally impactful. We filmed reaction videos after the different prisons, and I remember rambling a lot and getting really emotional. It's really rough on you emotionally, and um, it, I shouldn't be the one emotionally getting messed up. It should be the victim and the perpetrator and everyone involved in that crime. I'm really passionate about restorative justice with working with the community and everyone that was affected by the crime to make a safer community and a safer environment for everyone. The way our prison systems are is they are not headed that way. We went to one prison that had several programs. They had a newspaper and podcasts and they just did TED Talks. You're probably able to guess which prison it was. And that was the best one we went to. They did have a few programs like parenting programs and veterans programs. However, speaking to the people who are incarcerated, the bottom line is it's not a good thing. A lot of people lose a lot of weight. Every other jail and prison that we visited was really lacking in resources and programs to help rehabilitate people. A few had vocational training, um, however they made eight cents to 90 cents an hour, um, which is not enough. It's not enough to live on and in addition that wage gets split up four ways um, so technically their spending money is only about a fourth or fifth of that. A lot of people argue that they are getting training and a certificate which is good and it can really help on the outside however paying people eight cents an hour to do work is unacceptable. Something extremely ironic that we saw in the women's prison um, was the women sewing American flags. The women who worked there on their lunch break described it to us as a sweatshop and the women there earned 35 cents an hour um, for sewing all of the American flags and these American flags are the majority of the American flags that you see in America. There's such an irony to that of a symbol of freedom and pride for our country being sown by the most vulnerable population and not being paid for it. I have so much to say. I am so passionate about this. We actually visited a county jail. We went to the mental health jail. Um, and I'm not going to talk about it because I will cry. It was honestly horrific. Um, and I think that's going to be something that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Um, the thing about mass incarceration is the public isn't educated about this and so they don't care. If they don't have to see it and they don't have to see the horrific things going on in prisons and they don't have to worry about um, private prisons and recidivism rates and, and people profiting off of people being incarcerated, if they don't have to see it, they're not going to worry about it. It's so important to make this issue public. I live in California, which is a much more liberal state, but if you're in a more conservative state and you want to help, you can always write your senators um, and your governor and really push for laws that rehabilitate the people who are incarcerated. Something I learned while I was in prison was a lot of the budget goes to administration. Um, and very little goes to actual programs. Um, I remember in one of the prisons they had an art program and it went on for about five weeks and then they shut it down um, and the money went to administration instead. That's just like a tiny example but things like this happen all the time. I think the most important thing that I heard from the inmates was to volunteer in your community, um, taking the time to help children realize their worth. This is really important if you, a lot of us are extremely privileged. Um, I was raised in a relatively good area with a loving family, but a lot of kids don't live that way and maybe you're one of them. It's so important to get out and act as a mentor and provide resources for the kids who are growing up. And the words of a man who was sentenced to life in prison without parole, it's so much easier to elevate a child and encourage them and lift them up than it is to fix a broken person. You can also volunteer at different prisons. If you're over 21, you can volunteer in juvenile detention facilities. And the best prison we went to, probably the best feature was all the volunteers that were there. Um, it was in a much more liberal area. And so there were a lot of volunteers there to help. 
So if you have resources or things you can donate, like books or art supplies, that really helps. I apologize for the more serious video. I just really want to get this issue out there. It's so important to me. It's so important to so many people and so many people just aren't aware of what's going on. I want to do more social justice videos like this in the future. Um, I really want to use my voice in this um, little community that we have to really spread a lot of love and making sure people have basic human rights. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, I have a DIY coming up next video, so I'm super excited for that. I got a letter in the mail today from Beth. Um, it was my first letter, so thank you so much, Beth. Um, I want you guys to know when you leave comments and when you comment on my Instagram pictures, I recognize your names and it makes me really happy. Um, if you have a channel or anything, let me know because I'll subscribe to you. I honestly just want to support all of you guys in your creative endeavors. Thank you for supporting me.